What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So today I'm walking through Laureles. I guess I'm following the empanada lady that has the recording with the guy speaking. But I'm not gonna eat those empanadas today. I'm going to my, fa my favorite restaurant to eat lunch when I used to work over here at my office. I used to have an office by Segundo Parque Laureles and I'm going to my favorite spot. So first I wanna see if it's still open. And second, I wanna see if it still has good quality. Uh, the main reason why I would go to this spot was for the chef, the cook. She was amazing. She made really good food. What they do is they make typical Colombian food, but I would say like more gourmet, kind of, kind of more like higher quality, uh, typical Colombian food. And I used to always go eat there because they give a very large portion for the price. I hope you can hear me over the empanada lady. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, um, so I'm walking there through La Reales. This is La Reales, a lot of trees, beautiful streets, sidewalks, very high rise buildings, tall buildings everywhere. So come with me, let's go eat lunch. I want to show you the food, give you the price and show you the place. Uh, the owner doesn't know I'm coming today. I just decided that since things are back to being open here in, uh, in Colombia, the restaurants, I mean, I thought, you know what? I've been missing this food for so long. I'm going to take the walk. It's about a 30 minute walk from my place, but I'm working up an appetite to eat the food. So hopefully it's open. Hopefully the uh, cook is still there. And uh, yeah, let's check it out. So stay tuned. I'll show you the place, the name, the price and the food and give you my food review. I loved it before. Let's see if I still love it. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to show you all. I'm going to show you guys some really good gelato, good ice cream. I'm not going to eat this yet because I'm going to have to eat lunch first. Who knows? I might come back and eat some gelato later. But it's right here. It's called Atimo Gelato. That's a great place. Again, they don't know I'm filming them. It's a free promotion. Try to help them out. And they actually have their kitchen in the back where they actually make their gelato right there on site. So if you like gelato, Italian gelato, go here delicious and it's on what road are we on here's super tall mickey mouse what road is this i have no idea what road this is yeah carrera 74 with hold on let's see let's see what road it is one second i'm crossing the street without looking both ways i almost died trans Transversal 39. Transversal 39. So just look up uh, Carrera 74 with that. Transversal 39. That place has some good gelato. 100% good. Probably the best I've had so far in Colombia. I haven't been to all of them, of course, but so far that I've tried, that's my favorite. All right, let's continue on to, uh, to the restaurant. Stay tuned. Okay, my favorite restaurant, Burger King. I'm just playing. I just want to turn the camera on and show you guys that they're still doing construction in the Segundo Parque Laureles, the second park of Laureles. They're still working on construction, it's been forever. But it looks like they, they put a lot of landscaping, a lot of plants and everything here, so that looks very nice. There's new sidewalks here as well. That's nice. So, 100% when they're done with the, the construction, whenever that's gonna be, it's gonna be super nice. I'm excited. All right, let's carry on. For my friend Josh, he mentioned he didn't, he never found a Cuban spot in uh, Medellin. Here you go, La Bode, Bodequita Aven, okay? Avenera, Avenera. Anyways, it's Cuban. I've been there one time. It was alright. I, was, I wasn't that impressed, but uh, maybe they've improved. So, Josh or anybody looking for Cuban food here in Colombia, there you go. Try it out. Let me know how it is. Maybe now that I'll try it out myself again. Give it another shot. So we continue to my. One of, one of my favorite spots to eat lunch, one of them. Let's go. All right, guys, this is my spot. This is where I used to always come, Cafe Zeppelin. And it looks like they raised the price a little bit to $15,700. And they're always changing the menu of the day. Every day is different. So today is cazuela. I like to replace that with um, pechuga, uh, uh, chicken breast. So I'm gonna go in, eat the food, I'll let you guys know, stay tuned. All right, man. So they, they actually they actually changed it up a little bit. They got a little store here now, I guess, to get through the quarantine. Here's a sriracha. I know a lot of you guys like sriracha. Very nice, very nice. So this place is really cool. 
I like it. It's kind of like a very hipster. One sec, I'll come right back. Everybody was happy to see me back. I, I tell you, I, I'm not lying when I say that I came here almost every day during the, when I was working in the office. This was my spot to eat for sure. So the owner is German uh, and they have options for like sausages and a lot of German uh, options as well on the menu. But my favorite thing is definitely the, um, the menu of the day. So it's called Cafe Zeppelin and they're going off that theme. Cause I don't know if you guys know, but Zeppelin is the one who invented the, um, was this called a blimp? <laughs> yeah, he invented the blimp. So I'm gonna walk around and show you guys the area. I'm gonna let them know what I'm doing so they don't think like, what, what, what happened to David, he went crazy. Now he's walking around the camera filming everything. Cause uh, they don't know that I have a YouTube channel. So let me talk to him a bit, then I'll, I'll walk around and show this place. All right guys, so I got the beans here and I'm waiting for my ahi. Ahi is hot sauce. So here they put corn, my seat on the beans. So they're, they're definitely going Colombian style. Mm. Beans delicious, as I remembered. Let me get my heat. Now I'm gonna go walk around and see if the chef is still here. We'll see, stay tuned. All right guys, so another thing that they have here is really good desserts. So they have these cakes here that are homemade here. And one of my favorite that I don't see is the, um, the Oreo cake. The Oreo cake's delicious. And the rest I haven't tried, so don't don't quote me on these cakes. But the Oreo cake, if you if you come here for and they have the Oreo cake, get it. All right, let's see. So over here, ah, she's still here. She's here. Good. When I saw you. Yeah, yeah. So that's the that's the chef that I come for. I come for her because before the service wasn't really good here, unfortunately. But they're improving on the service. Again, they got the waiters that I like, and they put this new bar in. I guess they have drinks. But the way they have their setup is uh, super cool. And like I said, the chef is still here, so that means the food's excellent. All these books. <laughs> all these books all po uh, posted up here. Anyways, um, the food's excellent, the chef is still here. The waiters, they're great people, good people. And this place was always packed when, when I used to come. And I just talked to them, they said, I asked them, how's things going, you know? And they said, well, it's coming back slowly. They've been up for two weeks now. So I'm doing this video to help them out because they're good people and see if I can help them get some business coming this way. Y'all let me know in the comments if, uh, if you'll come and, you know, give this place a shot. All right, let's go eat my beans. All right, guys, so I got my heat. I had to change. Normally I sit here so I can see the people behind, like in the restaurants. I like people watching, but I'm sitting this way looking out the window for you guys looking at nothing basically because the lights come in and that's just how you make your video right so i got that heat and i dumped the whole thing in it's delicious aha here's the food so cazuela cazuela is um chicharron normally with avocado patricon but i don't like the chicharron for lunch it's, to me it's it's just too greasy I, so i always change it to um chicken breast so fried chicken breast we got the rice we got the salad we have the patecon, which is a plantain fried smash, and avocado. And then the beans here with ají. Gotta have ají with the beans, man. Ají is hot sauce, salsa. So let's try with ají. <clears throat> all right, that's all. That's hot. Whew, that's freaking hot. I put too much. <laughs> they gave me the whole thing of this, and I dumped it in. I forgot, guys, yeah, real spicy. Oh, it's good. A little bit too spicy. Be careful on the spot on the hot sauce. Hmm. All right, guys. Stay tuned. I'm gonna eat the beans. I'm gonna go for the meal. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I have no idea if the cameras gonna come out good or not. So they came out with a new GoPro, a GoPro Nine, and the GoPro Nine has a, a front-facing camera. I have a GoPro Eight. Look at the link in my description if you want to check out the exact camera I have. But I'm kind of wishing I had a GoPro 9. Because here I don't have a front facing camera, so I have no idea how I look in the camera. And I'm, I'm my own cameraman, right? So I already took a bite of the chicken. I mean, one thing I love about Colombian food, as always, as I said before, is that it's simple but delicious. Like they do it well. And this, this place I'd say is the next level because they go a little bit gourmet on it. They do a little bit higher quality ingredients, if that makes sense. Mmm. Hey, super good. 
So the rice we're using now is um, yellow rice for some reason. They put in, I don't know if they put in different seasoning or what in it, but it used to be white rice, normal white rice. I'm not sure if that's an upgrade or not, but it tastes really nice. It gives, it gives an extra flavor to it. Almost like an oriental flavor. Can't place it. Anyways, I'm happy. I'm happy I made the 30 minute walk to get here. <laughs> Let's see. Mm. And then you got the warapo, which is cane sugar juice. Mm. Anyways, let me know in the comments if you guys are gonna come. This place is really cool, legit. It has great coffee, great desserts, and also um, on the menu. Actually, I'll get the menu and I'll show you what the options are, so stay tuned. Sorry guys, I had it switch size. I feel so weird looking at the at the wall in the window. I like looking out here and seeing who's coming in and talking to the waiter, waiters and waitresses and the owner and stuff. So the lighting's bad, I apologize. Anyways, I'm gonna obtain my food. Super good, I'm very happy. It's so filling. It's a lot of, they give a big portion. So come hungry because it's quite a bit. Actually, sometimes I come here with my girl and we split like one menu of the day, we split it. So it's that big a portion. Anyways, stay tuned. All right, guys. So I finished. I finished the meal. I turned to like I finished the meal, and it was very good, very good. And I'm telling y'all, typical Colombian food, but uh, higher quality. Okay. So if you want to try typical Colombian food and want higher higher quality, come here. Um, higher price range, well, at fifteen thousand seven hundred, but it's well worth it. And this is probably one of the only places that I go to that I've been to that actually at the end of the meal they give you a coffee and dessert. So here's their coffee that they give you and also a dessert. It's like, um, I can't explain what this is, but let's try it, let's try it. Let's see the flavor. And they make this here. I have no idea what that flavor is. Vanilla? I have no idea what that flavor is, but it's good. It's like vanilla, something, but it's good. And the coffee, let's check it out. Coffee's good, decent, decent coffee. Not spectacular, decent. But it's nice to have, after a big meal that we just had, it's nice to have a cup of coffee to let it digest and then the nice sweet thing with the coffee, right? So that's always good, it comes with the price. And I'll tell you what, here in the, in the States, when you eat something that big in the States, after the meal you feel like you feel sick, you feel like, you know, you can't walk, whatever, right? Here in Colombia, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but even though that meal was massive, you saw how big it was, I don't feel, I feel light, I feel good. I mean, I, I feel full, but I don't feel sick. I feel good. And I think that might be because in the majority, actually all of Colombia and restaurants you go to, they're not gonna have as many chemicals, as many preservatives, as many of other, other stuff they put in the food as they do in the States. Here in Colombia, they do use chemicals, they do use that kind of stuff, but not as extreme as in the States, okay? And I think that's one reason why it's, you don't feel that sickness, that heaviness after eating a big meal. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my dessert, I'm gonna enjoy my coffee, and uh, then I'm not sure if I'll continue the video. If anything interesting happens, I'll let y'all know. I'll turn the camera on. If it doesn't, this will be the end of the video, another short video, and I'll see y'all in the next video, yeah? Take care.